born in West Haven, Connecticut in uh, 1988. I want to have uh, none uh, for now, and then I want to have uh, three, maybe four. That's Lindsay, because uh, she's always wanted kids, and uh, anytime we go out and we see a pregnant lady or a baby, Lindsay says, oh, I want a baby. Favorite movie? Hmm. I like The Godfather. My favorite TV station is the ID channel because my father has brainwashed us into liking it. It's a good question. Her affection and love. You ask too many questions all the time. <laughs> it's a long story, um, but long story short, I hired her to work at the restaurant I was managing. Neither of us. We were both uh, we were both pretty stubborn. Lindsay, I like to live in the moment. All of her shoes except heels because I love when she wears heels and she hates it. Best date we ever went on was, got a couple, I'd have to say either St. Augustine or to New York. You know, we go to St. Augustine a lot and uh, we really enjoy our time there. It's kind of our, our special getaway. My favorite celebrity crush would probably be, um, I have two, probably say Jessica Alba or uh, Jennifer Aniston. Uh, propose. Kitchen, I would say that I am definitely, definitely a better cook than Lindsay. I love her to death, but that's uh, that's one of my strong suits. I want to go to Africa uh, because I like uh, the idea of going out there and helping with the humanitarian cause, but. I know that Lindsay's always wanted to go to Ireland, so I'll put Ireland on top of Africa. Lindsay's best physical feature. Are her parents going to be watching this? No, her butt. <laughs> First date was um, we went to Casa Marina uh, for a drink, and then we uh, we walked on the beach, and then uh, we sat at a uh, at a lifeguard uh, on a lifeguard chair uh, stand, and uh, and we looked at the stars. Funny you mention that because it was also on that lifeguard stand while looking at the stars <laughs> on our first date.
going to be bad. But I'm not really sure uh, how she said it, but I know it was Lindsay. She was trying, she, she wanted me to say I love you for a while, but I was kind of holding out. The better dancer is definitely going to be me. <laughs> Um, well, I, um, I think we both will. I think we both will. take a trip like we often do um, to St. Augustine um, just for, for dinner um, and on the way there uh, I purposely made her uh, without her even knowing it um, she brought up marriage in the past and how we said you know in the future in the future um, and then I purposely uh, actually <laughs> took a video um, while we were in the car and uh, and I played the song um, this is going to be the best day of our lives. Um, and then I asked her when she wanted to get married. And uh, I guess I asked her without really asking her. Um, and she started talking how she wanted to get, uh, she wanted to be married within two years. And I was thinking, or within a year, I'm sorry. And I was thinking, and I was saying to her, you know, within a year, I mean, she's like, yeah, baby, you got to get on it. And so I kind of made a joke and I was telling her no in the future. So then we, we got to St. Augustine and uh, we're walking through the streets and, and we had some appetizers uh, uh, and as we're walking I, I grab her by both hands and uh, I get on one knee and uh, I ask her to turn around and when she does I was there uh, and I had in my hand um, a ring pump um, and I pretended to ask her to marry me and she said yes. And, and we took some pictures and it was a joke and, and she knew it wasn't the real deal. Um, and then I didn't hint at anything else. So we continued our night. Uh, we had a drink um, right in front of the water in St. Augustine. And she didn't know this, but I already had a horse and carriage um, set up on the side of the road waiting for us. So I chose a restaurant that was right by the water. And knowing Lindsay, uh, I knew that she would ask or, you know, make a comment about the horses. So as we sat and we had our drink, sure enough, um, uh, Lindsay looked at the horses and she says, oh, it would be so much fun to, to take a ride on one. And I said, you think so? And she's like, yeah. Oh, but we don't have the money. And I said, oh, hold on, let me let me see if, you know, if we can afford it. So I went over there pretending to talk to the guy and it was already all set up. And, uh, and long story short, we got on the horse and carriage. Well, as we start driving around the horse and carriage, he takes us to uh, to two spots. He takes us to one where there are uh, there is a tree that is intertwined, and it's an oak tree and a palm tree. And he's telling us a story of how one intertwined with the other, and, and you can't uh, break one apart from the other because if you do, the trees will die. Um, and so it was kind of a romantic setting. And uh, actually, funny thing, Lindsay didn't know this. But the entire time, there was a, um, a sign on the back of the horse and carriage that the guy put on there before uh, we went on the ride that said, just engage. So we had people actually telling us, congratulations, or, you know, good job. And she had no idea why. Um, so then we stopped in front of a uh, cathedral, one of the oldest, most beautiful cathedrals in St. Augustine. And uh, I walked around the steps, and I made the guy uh, pretend like he really wanted to take a picture and I acted hesitant. Finally, I agreed to take a picture and Lindsay wanted a picture. So we walked up the steps and in front of the cathedral, um, I proposed and she said yes. And, um, and that's that. Um, and then why do I want to marry Lindsay? 
Um, you know, to me, um, I guess like all human beings, we're, we're a little selfish and, and, and put ourselves uh, above anyone else. Um, but with Lindsay, I feel like, uh, like I would do anything in my life or in my power um, to make her happy and make sure that she was safe and, and that she felt loved. Um, and I think that moment when, when you wake up and you realize that you have somebody um, worth literally giving you life for, um, I think that's, that's kind of the moment where you know that, um, that that's the person you want to marry. So, uh, needless to say, I had that.